Hi, Scott Groves here from Essential Brands. What we're going to run you through this morning is uh, a little video on how to clean your Espresso Essential Revolution and Evolution machine. So this coffee system is designed to be very, very simple, very easy to clean. So let me first run you through exactly what you're going to need to do this clean. First of all, you'll need a brush, a microfiber cloth, just any other sort of cloth, even paper towel is okay, but just typically even a tea towel style cloth, and just some basic window cleaner which works brilliantly well on the stainless steel. So, first thing we do when we go to clean the Revolution machine is obviously open up the front door. Inside the unit here, we've got the mixing bowl section, and this is the best way to run through it. So you'll begin by actually turning up the elbows and removing the elbows. They just pull straight off like that. And then the mixing bowl section comes apart. And it's just five very simple pieces that just come apart. And just one by one, you just pull them out. The, uh, the middle mixing bowl section just turns slightly, just pull it out. And it's not under any pressure, it's not screwed in. It just pulls straight off the hose, like that. And then these last couple of pieces, is we've got our whipper blade, which is, I usually just lever it off with one of these mixing bowl sections. And the last piece is the backing plate. Just turns and then just pulls straight off. So very, very simple. What we do then is take these seven pieces, uh, usually pop them in a bucket, take them off to the kitchen, just really give them a good wash and a dry. Only takes about a minute or so because you'll find all the, all the powdered product comes off it very, very easily. And then we come back and pop them back onto the machine. So what we've got here, just to cut, point out a couple of things, there's a, a very small little rubber grommet in here and it's very important that that stays in there. We've had a lot of customers in the past try and clean that by sticking a sharp knife in there or things like that. It's just not necessary. The machine will clean itself. That rubber grommet is very, very important for the correct functioning of the, uh, of the uh, coffee and the brewing. So uh, what we highly recommend is that you just double check that that's always in there. It's not damaged and uh, if anything was damaged or if it was actually missing, uh, just call your local Espresso Essential dealer and you'll be able to replace that grommet. The second piece is this green grommet inside the backing plate. Uh, it does come out, so it can just be uh, just basically just pushed out. Um, just sits itself in there very simply. It's got a little edge that sits inside the actual plastic plate. Uh, it's just good every now and then to actually take these off when you're at the sink, giving it a proper clean. And in terms of putting it back in, it's just a matter of um, just pushing it back into the into the spot. It's very, very simple, but it just ensures you, you haven't got any product build up in the back of it at all there like that. It's very, very simple. So when putting your whipper blade back on, obviously the first piece to go back on will be your backing plate, which just sits on, clicks in place. And what you'll notice on this little steel pin is there's a flat spot on top there. And on your whipper blade, there's actually a little dot that sits on top of just one of the, the four uh, pieces there, the dot actually lines up with the flat spot. So all customers have been shown this at the time of installation by technicians. All you do is simply line it up, push it straight on, and you're done. It's as simple as that. In terms of in installing the rest of the pieces, we have our section here that just slots into place like that. Key thing to remember, of course, is that the hose just goes back on in front. There's nothing to that, it just pushes on. It's not under any pressure, so it doesn't need to be screwed on. And then we have our last two pieces that just slots into the hole. And our top section of the mixing bowl that just slots in place like that. Always remember to pop the elbows back on. These are probably the two most important pieces to make sure that they're actually dry because they will end up with milk powder and chocolate powder in them. And then our chocolate one. Just turn the elbows down and you've got a beautifully clean mixing bowl section. The next bit we want to clean here is the, the spout. This is where the, the coffee and the milk and the chocolate obviously pour out. And over time, you'll actually get a little bit of product build up in and around these sections here. So the most simplest thing to do is pull these nozzles out. We give the whole arm uh, a wipe down. And that way, if there's any coffee grinds or anything on top of this section, they're not going to fall into the cup and affect uh, obviously the presentation and the, the quality of the drink that's being produced underneath it. So we just pull the nozzles out one by one like this. Sometimes they take a bit of force, pop them up, and we go through that, pull all, th all of them out. And 
and then we'll just give the arm a bit of a clean. So all along this arm section are clean, so there's no product build up on there. The lines themselves and through the tubes themselves will actually automatically clean with the wash cycle I'm about to show you in a moment. But once we've done that, it's very simple and then just pop our nozzles back in. And you're done. The next section we want to clean here is the brewer. It's one of the most important parts of your coffee system. So first of all, we'll just remove the, uh, this is the puck ejection plate where the coffee puck hits it and slides it down into our puck tray. We just want to remove that, just pull straight off. And this is where our trusty brush comes in handy. So what we want to be doing here is cleaning literally from the top all the way down to the bottom just to remove any coffee grinds because you'll get coffee grinds that will build up in and around the machine. Basically acts like a form of dust if you like. So just with a little brush we can just get in, get in around these sections and just all throughout just brushing those coffee grinds down to the bottom. They're all going to end up down in the uh, puck tray at the very bottom. And we'll give this a wash cycle in a moment, but this just helps really remove any of the excess coffee grinds and that that you'll see laying around. They come quite visible. Um, customers won't see it, of course, because it's always on the inside of your unit, but just in terms of presentation, even for your staff, and just obviously overall uh, cleanliness of your machine and maintenance, it's, um, it's a good thing to do. So what we're going to demonstrate now is how to do the actual fully automatic wash cycle which is really straightforward. What you'll notice first of all when you've actually opened the door and done the other part of the cleaning, the machine actually turns itself off. There's no power to the front of the machine. So when the actual front door is open, the simplest way to activate your power is with this white button here. Works very much like the light inside your fridge. So simply by pulling this button out towards you, So you can see there it's ran itself through an automatic wash cycle. Um, the important thing to understand about this is it's actually only just cleaned the mixing bowl section. So on the inside of your revolution and evolution door you'll notice there are three buttons. There's a quick menu button, there's a programming button which is for our espresso essential technicians and customers never have to touch the programming button. The most important one for customers is on the right hand side here. You'll notice it says wash cycle. The red button inside there is activates the wash cycle and this actually gives the entire brewing unit and the mixing bowl a complete clean. So just by pressing that red button when the machine is powered on, you'll give it a complete wash cycle. It's a very important part of your daily cleaning. And what that's going to do by pressing the red button on the wash cycle, it's going to, going to clean the entire brewing unit right down through where the coffee is actually extracted and produced and it's also going to clean the mixing bowl section. Now what a lot of people like to do when they do this is actually take one cup and use it to capture all the water here rather than just filling up your drip tray all the time. Uh, it's, it's, it's totally up to you guys. You are going to clean out the puck tray and the drip tray in a moment but uh, it's really as simple as this. So just by reaching inside the door uh, where the wash cycle is, put your finger on the red button and away you go. You'll see it does the actual mixing bowl section first. And if I lift this away just to show you, you'll then see it actually do the, the coffee section. You see the bit of water that gets dispensed there? That is one of the best ways to keep your brewer perfectly clean, your mixing bowl really clean, and you can see a little bit of the stuff that's come out of there through the brewing process. You can do this once or twice, but this is one of the most important parts of keeping the long-term maintenance of your coffee system and the quality of your coffee being produced in excellent condition. That wash cycle should be done every single day.